my name is Sarah and my channel is currently called Sarah Does a Thing. This may change for Christmas. I received the Savage Industries EDC2 kit. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I don't really know what's inside it except for, I mean, I know it's the parts to make a bag, but I'm curious about what's in it. Um, are the pieces already cut? Are they scrapped so that you can test it on your sewing machine? What's going on in here? Uh, so I am I am curious, and I, you might be curious too. You might be interested in buying the kit instead of just the pattern or the bag, uh, because they sell, uh, Adam Savage sells the bag, uh, just a pattern or a kit with all the parts to make it. I'm also curious, is there a pattern in here? So if I make this, can I make another one later myself? Uh, so this is all, I don't know. I don't know, so I, I want to I want to find out. Okay, so we've got camera two rolling. Let's open up the thing I didn't unwrap. I knew what it was, so I didn't I didn't I didn't get a chance to. Alright, we have removed the wrapping paper unceremoniously. Oh, oh, we've got tension. Okay, this is um this is a strip of that reinforced sailcloth that's really, really stiff because it has, I think like Kevlar or, or an equivalent um, fat fiber running through it. So this stuff is uh, really cool and you'll see it really is going to keep its shape. All right, and we have more of that in here. We have this large piece. I assume this is going to be a body of our bag. And then we have another piece of this reinforced fiber uh, fabric. This is probably probably the bottom of the bag because it has a bucket bottom to reinforce it. Three pieces of sailcloth, two heavy reinforced pieces, and one like what you make most of the sail out of. So that's what was in the tube. And then we have a bag. I think there was actually a couple pieces that weren't inside the bag that I shoved in it um, in order to sort of keep it all together. There are paper pieces as well as more fabric. Okay, so you can see I'm leaving the fabric and other pieces in here and I will get to that in a minute. So these are the paper envelopes. Oh, and it's Creative Commons license. That's awesome. Um, oh, this is the pouch. It comes with instructions for a pouch. And the instructions uh, look like an Adam Savage project drawing. They don't look like sewing instructions, but that's okay. Uh, further instructions. So, so far we have fabric. Doesn't look fully cut, not positive. Uh, probably isn't cut. We have a pouch uh, instruction sheet slash pattern. And, okay, cool. So this is the bag pattern. Awesome. Okay. I will be able to make more than one of these which is super cool. What's in the bag? There is a bit of um, advertising board, sign board. I love this stuff. This stuff is great. Anyway, there is a, I built this. Custom EDC build. So that's cool. This I'm assuming that that's different than if um, I had purchased it. There are some bag hangers, right? I used premium webbing with a pin strip. Uh, you know, a couple good feet of that. So that's probably your straps. And then, 
and some when people are making this from the instructions these clips are listed as lobster clips or at least they used to be and and they're not standard lobster clips um i did find uh, an instruction set online about wh what to call these to search for them uh, and i will when i find it i will link it below And then zipper heads. That's interesting that they are loose. Um, and now, you know, attached to the zipper, which would be normal. Uh, okay. Sure, you want a very small amount of string. This was short for foot. But never mind. It is what it is for this but one um the strap piece it's it's for uh adjusting the adjusting adjuster ring the zipper without zipper stops or zipper heads uh you can buy these in absolutely huge rolls which is i assume they've done and they're just like you you make stuff you can just attach your own zipper heads which Okay. Uh, I guess. All right, and Velcro. More, this is a, uh, a nylon ripstop. This is probably your liner. It's a fairly stiff ripstop uh, for nylon. And it's a little bit too through. Yeah, this is probably your lining. So what are my thoughts on this kit? I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I think the only thing my sewing machine will have trouble with is this stuff. This might require me getting a, uh, a beefier needle. But I should be able to handle just what everything else. The Velcro is very light. You can get very heavy Velcro and, and this isn't it. Uh, this should be no problem. The patch is pretty thin. And also, it's not a patch, it's a, it's a label. I'm actually really excited about the pouch. Uh, and I like that it is Creative Commons, because that way with the pouch, if I make some changes or do something cool, I can publish my own version of it. And, uh, and you can have it. So that's neat. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, so, if I actually do this, expect to see more uh, from this channel, uh, specifically making this thing. I'm going to do my own one, maybe four day build um, with this. I figured I'd start with kit. Uh, yeah, so this is it. Everything's white because we want to be astronauts, which is true. Hey, right, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining me on the YouTubes. And I guess you should uh, hit the thumbs up button. Smash. That's no, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.